<laughs> Hi. Good morning. Um, this is video 887, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to call it, but uh, maybe the, the origins of Witchmas, I don't know. But um, yesterday I was watching the news, the TV. It's uh, 1126, by the way. Yesterday was Black Friday. Put this in a little bit of context. And, you know, the the TV people had, you know, like they do with a hurricane where they have to put somebody out in the wind. You know, the, the wind is terrible. You know, and you're like, yes, you're an idiot. You're standing out in the rain. Um, so the, they had to do the same thing at the mall, you know. And I imagine everybody's got a mall. And, you know... Black Friday, you know, our mall where I live in southern Indiana, I mean, it, it is a 35, 40-year-old mall. Um, they built a new mall nearby in the hopes of, I guess, killing the old mall, and the new mall didn't make it. <laughs> the new mall is the one that folded um, where I'm from. Um the mall, like where I grew up, my middle school, and then my early high school years, you know, there was the, just the, the mall that like was there forever. And then they built a new mall. And of course the old mall just died, you know, so it was kind of weird to see just the reverse happen, you know? Um, I guess we, we get stuck in our ways. I don't know anyway, but so picture, if you will, you know, this, the, the parking lot is full and people are, you know, you know, trying to get the best deals. And, you know, just kind of a lot of stress, I guess. And the news, news person was, oh, this Christmas, you know. And he interviewed some people in the mall, you know. And, um, someone said, well, you know, Christmas is just becoming too commercialized. You know, someone else said, you know, well, Jesus is the reason for the season. And, you know, those two statements just, it, it's just kind of like, I've heard it all my life, you know, and um, uh, just the more I thought about it, I was just like, you know, if you look at where Christmas came from, as we know it in America, um, you know, Christmas as we do it, which I guess makes sense, is totally an American creation. I mean, just totally. You can go way, 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 way back. And, you know, um, people living in, in Germany and, you know, Europe um, many, 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 many months ago, um, you know, there was a lot of stuff, and myths and stories and, you know, the scary ghost stories we hear about, you know, tales of the glories and scary ghost stories of Christmases long, long ago. Those scary ghost stories. Um, you know, winter was a time of you, you couldn't keep your stock. Um, so you had to slaughter a lot of livestock if you were, in a, you know once upon a time. So you had a lot of meat to eat and the nights were getting dark and you know, so I think there's just kind of a a core thing and and people like to celebrate, people like to party anyway. Okay. So here you have a reason to celebrate. A reason to be festive. I may have to let my son out. Just a minute, baby, I'm making a video. Um, so anyway, so here you have like this very basic need to celebrate with each other and it doesn't really matter what we call it. They called it something else, many different things. Um, you know, the Romans had Saturn, Saturnalia, um, you know, people just at this time of year, it was just this general need to celebrate being with each other and living and having a bit of fun, uh, getting a little bit of drunk, um, 
again, historically, a time of misrule and chaos. Um, da 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 da. And then Christianity kind of came along and said, well, um, you know, we don't like you doing that. So we're going to kind of adopt it and make it on our own, which is okay. I mean, it's, you know, to the conqueror goes the spoils. But people still had a way <laughs> of, you know, okay, you know, we're making cakes for Christmas, uh, cakes for the holiday, for Yule or whatnot. And, you know, the priest is in town or the religious leader, and they're like, oh, no, no, these are Christmas cakes, you know. Um, just, you know, stuff that used to be to Odin, Woden. Uh, Odin now became for St. Christopher, you know what I mean? It was just a matter of, I guess, you know, human... We're not celebrating a pagan festival. Um, so anyway, you know, if you look at it from a historical point of view, I guess, that first line, you know, uh, Jesus is the reason for the season. Not really. Not really. Um, you know, if you go way, way, way back, yes, it has pagan roots. Yes, it has, you know. And, and even going forward with Christianity, um, you know, one of the things that the Puritans were like, we want to get away from this celebration. I mean, it, even historically, this the colony of the city of Boston uh, passed a rule to prevent people from celebrating, you know, the, the raucousness of Christmas. It was more like a carnival or a festival. Um, anyway, so there's a lot of historical background, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not just pulling this out of my ass. But, you know, that whole idea, someone said something, and someone else they interviewed, they said, yeah, you know, Christmas, I just wish we had gotten, you know, we get away from the commercialization and go back to going back to church and, you know, da 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 da, -da, -da. And it was kind of like, I just kind of felt like saying, you know, not how ignorant are you, but it just how ignorant are you of the past? And I don't know. It just kind of just started kind of started to, to grate on me, grate on me, grate on me. And I just kind of, I guess, after the last the events of the last week, we had the um, the shooting at uh, Club Q. Um, you know, people died straight and gay because someone decided they didn't like gay people lgbtq people and i guess all of the rhetoric and the hatred that i see from christians so-called christians self-proclaimed christians not everybody but there's enough um and unfortunately the the good christians um they don't bad mouth the bad christians they just kind of say, well, it's everyone's open to interpretation and, you know, they're they're not going to uh, pick up the, uh, what did Jesus do in the temple? He made a whip out of like grass, and you know, um, they're not going to be, you know, I, I don't see Christians standing up against the bad Christians, unfortunately. But anyway, so. It just kind of like, I just sat there and I was like, well, all the things that I like about Christmas have nothing to do with Christianity. I mean, I mean, in the Bible, there's no Christmas trees. There's no Santa Claus. There's no gift giving. There's no, um, you know, there's no, this is Christmas, blah, 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 blah. What I have seen is people taking some things and saying, oh, well, no, um, you know, the the three magi, that's our gift giving. And I've seen people come up with a story about the candy cane is the shape of the shepherd's crook and the white, the, the red is the blood of Christ and the white is Christ's period. I mean, people have like tried to make, 
you know, square pegs fit in a round hole and vice versa. And it works to a certain degree. But, you know, we still kind of have all the things that we enjoy that I enjoy. You know, it kind of has nothing to do with Christmas. I, I just can't. My, um, my brainwashing, my programming when I was raised, you know, Christmas time, Christmas music. I mean, I can't, I, you can't, I can't get away with saying music. I can say holiday music, but you know, you can't say Christmas tree without saying Christmas tree. You know what I mean? It's, it's that it's, it's been programmed into my brain, you know, and I can't, I can't disassociate it. You know, um, you know, all of the things that we associate with Christmas, even the Christmas tree has pagan roots and, you know, the Holly, the legend of the Holly King and the Oak King fighting each other. I mean, it, it just, you know, it's almost like, uh, Egg Chen again says in, uh, Big Trouble in Little China, you know, your religion's like a salad bar. You, you take what you want. <laughs> and leave the rest, right? Um, but anyway, so kind of back to this, you know, I guess in in light of recent events and not feeling much support, I guess, you know, I don't really want to say Christmas anymore. You know what I mean? So I was like, well, what else can I do? You know, you can say Yule. You can go Saturnalia. I mean, there's a bunch of historically, you know, equally mythical stories that you could. And you can just say, well, I celebrate Christmas, but not as a religious holiday. But I was like, well, you know, I, I needed to make it something that was significant to me. And, you know, um, you know, being a, a green witch, I'm like, hmm. Which, 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 and I saw a story um, last year. Um, uh, Aubrey Plaza, who is an actress who is in Parks and Rec, she had a she came out with a children's book she did with someone called The Legend of the Christmas Witch, and I was like Christmas Witch, and so I was doing a Google search on that, and it came up with. Um, a lot of stuff with Bafana, who is an Italian Christmas witch. Um, but also I saw some stuff, and it was a book, and it was called Merry Witchmas. And to myself, I'm going, Witchmas, Witchmas, that makes sense. You know, not as a replacement for, but if you think about, or for me, I guess, you know, all the things that I really like about Christmas take Christ out of it. <laughs> Unfortunately, like I said, I've got this programming in my head. I can't, I can't get away from it. Um, but for me, switch Christ with which make it witchmas, you know, um, phonetically, they're a little different, but they have the same, about the same size, I guess, five letters, you know, so I kind of decided, well, yeah, I'm going to say Mary Witchmas you know, and have witch mess instead. So, uh, this morning I've been, you know, singing songs and, you know, I'm dreaming of a white witch mess. You know, all this, all the songs. Have yourself a merry little witch mess. You know, it, it just, it's like, you know, locked in now. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, again, I, I think if we put on our hats, put on our thinking caps, and we think about how over time things change, you know, much like the early Christian church adopted a lot of things, you know, slash stolen a lot of things, you know, uh, what what is the origin of a holiday you know something uh you know um the idea of festivus for example jerry seinfeld seinfeld you know festivus um 
if if it's fun and it's something you enjoy doing and it brings some if it brings a smile to your face and you enjoy it uh you know it has the same degree of validity <laughs> in my book anyway um as some holiday that has no significance uh other than you know like i said me being brainwashed as a child um you know there're probably going to be other holidays i i think there's a mindset of people um where the world we live in is all there is and is all there ever will be you know that's the hardest thing for people to, i think to accept about the idea of climate change despite all the evidence there is around them i, I think nowadays it's kind of silly i kind of think of a climate change denier as a, a denier as a flat earther you know but 20 years ago they they held sway right so who's to say who's to say what the next holiday may be and then 100 years later people would be like oh yeah there's always been that holiday you know and that's something else that happened too with the christmas tree in england um in victorian england there were no christmas trees until the queen at the time married a german her person she married was a german of german descent prince i guess that's the name and he brought his family traditions of the christmas tree what we now call a christmas tree and the person i i heard the article the story with said that you know 20 years later um in catalogs and and writings and what not people talked about how they've always had this tradition you know when it wasn't true you know but then you know memories are short and a couple generations later and people are like oh we've always had christmas trees you know not true and so i guess the perhaps the silliness and the the uh you know the silliness that i feel now <laughs> you know who's to say what a hundred years from now will be you know um what i think we celebrate as christmas okay for an in a non secular way like i said christmas as we know it is is the commercial the commercialization of that is american that is totally an american invention you know yes there were gift giving and da da da, da but i mean in europe christ uh you know christmas was again it was a festival like a you know people getting drunk and you know, they had the lord of misrule and i mean it was a party i mean the closest thing we have today i think is probably mardi gras you know where people just get drunk out of their minds and a bunch of debauchery and everything that was christmas in you know <laughs> in europe and so kind of what we have now you know the uh you know bing crosby and you know the sweater and the coffee and I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. That's totally an American convention, you know, Santa Claus especially. Uh even though the origin, you have, you know, people say well it was, you know, St. Nicholas. Um but you have Bells Nickel and and in Germany and then you have again you have the Holy King, the war between the Holy King and the Oak King in paganism so i mean you know again it's but it's i understand if that's all that you knew and that's kind of like the lady at the mall you know jesus is the reason for the season no <laughs> but um you know you get 20 other people who think that way in a room and and you have a you know you have a majority of people and that's the way it was and that's the way i can remember my grandma again when i was a, a wee little girl who trans girl transgender girl you know complaining about the commercialization of christmas 
you know, but Christmas, like I said, as we know it, is an American, you know, well, the way we do it today is totally an American thing, you know, like French fries and grilled cheese sandwiches and apple pie, right? Um, but anyway, so that's where we're at. Um, and again, it's it's what you make of it. Probably the, the 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 most current thing I can think of is Kwanzaa. You know, in my age, in my in my lifetime, Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa came out of nowhere. People got together and said, "This is what we want to do. This is what we want to celebrate." Came up with the whole thing. Celebrate it. It's significant to to someone. They celebrate it as a holiday. Uh, I don't expect the same thing with Witchmas, uh, because it's very personal to me, and uh, much like my own spirituality, is is very very personal. Although I do talk about it a lot on Facebook, um, you know, I, I I I don't want my religion to be, you know, there's nothing you gotta buy, there's nothing you gotta wear, there's no songs to memorize, there's no, you know, you don't have to be in a special place at a special time saying. You know, words out of a book that you don't know the meaning of. Uh, for me, it's definitely going to be very individualized and personal, much like my own practice as a, as a solitary witch. Um, but I don't know. I just think it's kind of funny. So I thought I'd share that with you. And, um, you know, if you haven't done the history or just looked into it, I, I think it's kind of worth doing. Uh, and uh, the, you know, biblical history is is to me is always amazing. I think I've got my copy of the Bible in the other room, my Bible. Um, I have a very big Catholic study Bible that I bought, um, and I've read it cover to cover. I try and read it cover to cover every ten years at least, um, just to get stuff in my head so that when someone says well you know the bible says blah 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 blah, i'm like well you're right but that's contradicted by this and this saying and then three books later that's contradicts that and then you know so um not really to be an asshole or a bitch but just kind of to, to say you know if you if you don't have the knowledge you don't have the ammunition to fight back against ignorance um and then i had something else i was gonna say but i think i forgot it oh real quick real quick when i was younger um you know i kind of had a very atheist approach to things you know when i thought about it and i was like well you know uh all religions made up, therefore I'm an atheist, blah, 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 blah. And I kind of took it as a sense of pride. You know, uh, you know, I don't believe in that made up shit. Um, but I think that's really kind of a dangerous thing to do. And uh, do what you want. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. But as far as the LGBT <laughs> position, um, the moment that I think we pit all religions in the same box is the Christianity that plagues us, that persecutes us. It creates an us versus them mentality. And my approach now, especially since I'm a witch and I'm agnostic, um, <laughs> uh, you know, I tend to have a coexistence because you have Christians that are not going to slam gay people. Um, you take the abortion issue we had this last summer. There are Christians in favor of a woman's right to choose. There are Jewish people in favor of, you know, again, Jewish, uh, according to the Torah, I mean, Jewish is fine with abortion, you know. Um, other religions, Muslim, da 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 so here you have all these religions who are pretty darn cool with gay people. 
And so rather than it being an us versus them type thing, like, you know, being a minority, in reality, we're in the majority. There's just other people who maybe think a little differently than we do, but they're going to embrace us, embrace diversity, okay, as opposed to excluding it. I'm not necessarily sure if I'm conveying the idea, but I think a better approach is to be open-minded and say, yes, there are many different religions, you know, there's, you know, well over 200 different types of religions, and, you know, only a handful hate gay people, and so let's encourage all religion, let's encourage all points of view, including agnostic and atheism, um, you know, be inclusive of everyone, it dilutes it dilutes, I think, the power of those handful that say, you know, gay people are going to hell and blah, 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 blah. Um, I think it's a better tactic. Uh, and I didn't come up with that. That's Benjamin Franklin. If you read his autobiography, he talks about how to communicate with people who have a different idea than you. I mean, he was a hell of a person and a diplomat anyway, but, you know, his idea of saying, well, you know, uh, my memory's kind of fading here, but, um, you know, well, I'm not too sure about that, but I've heard so-and-so. I'm kind of, I'm still thinking about it. You know, he was very diplomatic in his kind of way of telling someone to shut the fuck up, and I don't believe the way you do, and you can go fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, boy, that's a positive way to end the video, isn't it? Uh, so, just some thoughts. And uh, going forward, like I said, I'm going to make it a little more significant to me. Um, there's definitely some things on my path, uh, the path I'm walking right now, uh, as far as being a green witch, that I am going to incorporate into witchness for me. Um, but that's kind of private, so I'm going to keep it under my, close to my chest, close to my broomstick for the moment. But uh, yeah. I think it's a, I think it's a cool idea to have something that's significant to you. Um, it's special, and I guess it's special if you can share that with someone else. Um, but anyway, live and let live, I suppose. On that note, I wish you the best of luck in becoming yourself, your authentic self, as you define it. Okay. Till next time. Bye bye.